Hey everyone, 007K here. My PS4 Uncharted Limited Edition has been having some trouble lately. Um, it would just turn off for no reason, and then I'd push the power button, and a blue pulsing light would blink, and then after a minute it would just turn off and nothing would happen. Um, I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, but it got to the point recently where I can't even turn it on anymore. Like, I used to be able to unplug it and plug it back in, and that would fix it at least temporarily now that doesn't even help it turns on to where it says uh re repairing storage or something like that um but after that it just shuts off and i have not been able to figure it out i've tried reseeding the hard drive i've tried taking the power supply out and reconnecting it um i contacted sony sent it back had it fixed they sent it back to me still has the same problem um, again, same story, every now and then it would just do that, and eventually just got to the point where I couldn't turn it on anymore. Well, I noticed something a little bit interesting. So I've observed that when you boot the console into safe mode, it works just fine. Which makes me think it's not a hardware problem, because if it was a hardware problem it wouldn't even boot up into safe mode. But, just for the record, to boot it into safe mode, you push and hold the power button down for like 7 or 8 seconds until you hear... When you push it down, you'll hear the first beep, and then you gotta wait for a second beep. There you go. And it should boot into safe mode. We got the DualShock here connected into uh, USB. So here we go, we have all these options. So, since I've observed that safe mode boots just fine with no issues, as you can see, my theory is it could just be software. Okay, so you want to find yourself a nice little flash drive, at least 8 gigabytes. Plug it into your computer. So to get to the software page, you just type in PS4 system software. And on my specific system, it runs 3.5.5, so I'm going to type that in. Or 3.55 I meant, sorry about that. I'm going to just click on the first one here. So you want to get to this page to download the system software. You want to be careful. It'll say download update here, but that is not the one you want to click. You want to scroll down here to perform a new installation of the system software. And you click download here. And I'll put a link to this web page in the description for your convenience. Now you want to go into your flash drive and you want to make a folder called capital P capital S 4. And in that you want to make capital update. And in here, you want to put the file. Now, I'm just downloading it directly to the flash drive, so that's not what the file name is going to be. But, it should be, uh, let's see, PS Update. PS Update dot PUP. And if it has this one at the end of it, you want to delete the one, because the PS4 will not recognize that. So as you can see, there's the update file. So we're just going to take the drive out put it in the PS4 here. So we're back in safe mode, so you want to go down to initialize PS4, click on X, scroll over to OK. Now I should probably let you know that this is going to delete all the data on your PS4, but your PS4 is unusable anyway, so what are you going to do? So PS4 just reiterates what I just said. You want to click yes. And then it just goes through and reinstalls the software. Okay, well, I'm definitely feeling like this fixed it, because now we're in the system. We just press the PS button, and set it up like we normally would. So it's a few months later, and this fix is working perfectly. Um, I've not had another single problem with the PS4 since then. But I am editing the video, and I just realized I missed one crucial part. So once you've done the previous steps, you need to turn your console on. You need to go into settings. And then you want to scroll down to power saving settings. And then you want to go into set features available in rest mode. Power supply to USB ports. You want to select always. Stay connected to the internet. You want to check that. And then keep application suspended. Um, 
I haven't tried it with it turned on, so I don't know. But if you're still having problems, turn this off and see if that fixes it. I don't know why this is. I did try that fix before I formatted it to make sure it wasn't just that and it still had the problems. But, but for some reason the combination of formatting it and changing those settings fixed it. Um, and it's been working for a couple months now and I tried it on a few of my friends' consoles that were having the same problem. Um, and three, the three that I fixed, or the three that I did this to, all worked flawlessly. Now, if this thing doesn't, if this doesn't fix the problem, according to Sony, it's either hard drive, power supply, or the logic board. All of which you'd need to send it back to Sony for, or fix it yourself if it's out of warranty. That's it, I hope it worked for you. Um, if it did, be sure to leave a like, um, subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. But yeah, that's all for today. Have a good one, guys. See you in the next video.